Hello, welcome to Craft World. It's Lou Collins here. I've got another template for you today. This one is free to download on Craft World. It comes from Papercraft Essentials issue 224. That's a lot of issues. Um, and this is a 3D step card template. Now, if you do have the magazine, it's on page 18, but the template you can download, print off as many times as you need to. Um, and I've created this fun little sort of uh, book themed and cat themed um, little step card. I think it's brilliant. I just think it's really lovely. And the beauty of it is, is it all folds flat so you can pop it into an envelope. Um, you can utilize this with having the steps at the top or you could actually turn it around. You could have the steps at the side if you chose to actually attach things to the side or have these as flower pots maybe so there's lots and lots of different ways you can be using this template so let's get started with how to put this together so this is the template that you're going to use and as I say it's downloadable for free on craft world um, so you've got a couple of different score lines here you've actually got a cut line as well which is the solid piece which we always know um, the solid line is the cut line now you've got two different score lines the black score line the black dotted line is where you're going to score and you're going to fold then you've got score but don't fold okay so uh, bear that in mind when you're cutting into everything now you have got measurements on here or you can of course just use uh, the actual template as I usually do with your adhesive so your spray adhesive you can stick that onto your cardstock and then you can cut around and follow the guidelines there I'm actually going to do it by measuring this week a little bit different so I'm going to use these measurements here which is 28 centimeters length and 12 centimeters in height which I've pre-cut out here now as you can see that's ever so slightly larger than the template so that if you do it by sticking the template onto the cardstock you're going to end up with a slightly smaller card than if you do it by the measurements each of the squares here are four centimeters by four centimeters so bringing in my trimmer here but this is actually a trimmer and a scoreboard so I've got the benefit of both on here I'm just going to follow this so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to score at four centimeters all the way along and then all the way across as well because it says we can score but there's areas where we're not actually going to be folding so I'm going to do that by popping into my trimmer my piece of paper just bringing it to four centimeters let's just bring that down just bringing it along four centimeters using the white blade and I'm going to score and then I'm going to go along to eight centimeters and score then 12 and score and then what I need to do is extend the arm that then gives us all the way out to 40 through just over 43 centimeters so we've got loads more to play with so 12 and then the next one there if you follow this is going to be 16 which is actually right on the line but what they've cleverly done here on this scoreboard is actually engraved the plastic just there so you can see where your 16 mark is and then 20 and then 24 just there and then I need to do the same again but it'll just be three blocks so there's one at four and one at eight giving us our three blocks okay so I'm not going to score anything at the moment I'm now going to do my cutting so what I need is two squares on either end of the top row so I'm going to cut into that so I'm hoping you can just about see my grid on there so two two squares in and I'm going to cut away these next three so snip down here and snip down here I'm then going to come along and cut in the middle square so that one's going and it's very easy if you just map out your squares give us your crosses if you need to number them if you find it easier whichever works for you like so and another suggestion when you're working with templates like this that actually look quite complicated what I tend to do is make it from paper so use the template print it twice cut out the template make it from paper roughly so I've got an idea of where everything's going to be cut and scored etc and then I go ahead and make it out of my cardstock afterwards 
so there you can see we've got this shape here now so now we need to do our scoring oh there's actually some more cut lines i nearly forgot other cut lines and they are they're clearly marked here cut here cut into here into here and into here so that's very simple as long as you can see your score lines quite easily yeah. there and there okay so now when you look at it this piece here is going to be um at the front of you so push everything backwards there we go mountain fold those and then what you're going to want to do so that's kind of like the the top of the card as such so then what you're going to want to do is fold over the next two tabs and they will stick together so just pinch them okay and then the same with the next two fold those over you'll overlap those pinch those and you can already see you've got your card coming together now at this stage I think you've got the option of deciding whether you want your steps so your solid pieces here to actually be on top or whether you'd like them on the side it really depends on the decoration of your card if you're going to want to stick to things to the side of your squares then you're going to want these to overlap there and then this will be your base if you want these to be as steps to put things on top of then you're going to do it this way have a play certainly put one together like I say by paper first and work it out work out which way you want to do it so now what we can do is we can glue these tabs together and that will just secure our shape and we can start playing with let's use a glue that I've actually opened shall we that one's a brand new one that I haven't even started yet so once you've got your basic shape then you can start looking at decoration what will fit etc etc so lots of glue and now I've worked out which is going to be the front of my card and the front panel is going to overlap the back panel this just creates a neater finish for the front of your card for you but as you can see because we've done four centimeter square squares <laughs> um, these are all going to fit together beautifully so applying the glue to the top of the back one and of course you can choose whether you have the taller end on the left or the right as well it's another option for you and then that's going to fold over like so there we go so as I say left or right and that's why I don't know if you can just see here you've got that sort of raw edge there which you don't have on this side you've got a nice crease so that's why I choose whichever's going to be my front overlap that onto the back panels now I'm going to have these as steps so you look down onto them I think so I'm going to put my base piece which is also on the template just here again these are four centimeter squares what I've done because there's no measurements on this one I know they're going to be four centimeter squares but I have used one centimeter for the width of the tabs so I've got my tabs there now I haven't actually snipped into the corners here yet but you can do that if you wish just for a slightly neater finish this just means that once you glue the tab on you're not going to get any corners peeking out it's not essential but these little little things like this make it all the more professional in the in the end we're just going to fold the long tabs that we've created so in total this piece was six centimeters across and then the width of course is 12 centimeters because you've got four four and four centimeters for the square so just folding those tabs up there I'm going to apply glue to one tab first of all don't try to do both at the same time decide again which way round you want yours to be front and back and which is going to be the base whether you want those panels to be on the side or on the top I chose on the top so this is the front of my card and I'm just going to place that on there stand it up just to make sure everything's nice and level and that glue has held and then the same on the other tab at the back just squeezing down my cut edges as well just to give those a neater finish now there we go so there we have our our kind of stepper card as such a different look to a stepper card but everything's going to fold flat for you to pop into an envelope whether you want to fold it up or down 
and then for the decoration which you've already seen at the beginning of the video you'll see a photo in this post as well so I simply took my chosen papers I actually chose it's an old stamperia pad I don't know if it's still available at craft stash but you'll be able to hopefully find it somewhere if you don't already have it um, but I've chosen this I've cut myself three and a half centimeter squares to fit inside here and then I've taken the embellishments as well to decorate on here too so I can have little cats sort of st sitting on a step if I wish I could have had the books actually on a step you know there's lots of different ways you can play with it and do it so I hope you've enjoyed finding out how to put together this card you can find the download um, on it's on Craft World, and if you search for Papercraft Essentials, issue 224, hopefully you should find that there. Alternatively, it will be linked in the blog post um, on Craft World to which this video is. So I hope you have a lovely week, everybody, and I'll be back in two weeks with, or no, one week with another template video for you.